guys welcome to the other edition of photography talk hope you've been doing well this edition of photography talk will be brought to you from an outdoor shoot reason why i'm packing up my stuff to hit the road i will need this body i wouldn't really need this according to what i will be shooting today but we never know let's get it on board One more time, welcome to Photography Talk and thank you for following step by step this show. Today I've decided to take you through a process of uh, of shooting a, a subject which is going to be a bridge. It's a bridge that really inspired me a lot. As you know, I mostly do a portrait, street photography. And I'm, I'm really passionate about the, all the infrastructure that was built before the 19th century. And today we're presenting to you the, the same pier bridge that's right there behind me will be going step by step through the process of shooting this specific subject but before we get to that section let me give you a glimpse of the story behind the saint pierre bridge the first saint pierre bridge was built between the 1849 and 1852. it was a wooden tall bridge where pedestrian and horse-drawn carriage passed it rests on two pillars of stones and bricks and was reinforced with metal cables. During the Great Flood of 1875, an engineer from the town hall had the cable cut. When the cable split the air, they cut the Marcon factory located in the Amidonia district. Very damaged, the St. Pierre Bridge was entrusted to the city in 1904, which abolished the toll gate at the same time as it prohibited the passage of cars. When the municipality decided to rebuild the deck in 1927, it opted for a suspension bridge with metal frame considered more aesthetic. Sixty years of uninterrupted traffic completed the cracking of the structure. 30 million francs were raised in 1984 and three years later a new bridge was built. So now we invite you to hit over to the bridge right there to start you know getting some photographs and now that I'm under the bridge you can see the bridge right uh, above my head there. Uh, I have to check the right spot where I will be able to get some nuts nice shot. Look at this infrastructure. Look at the metal work that the you know the engineer used at that time to be able to to get this masterpiece. It's time to to check the right gear. So I've got my Canon 600D here with the 50 millimeter. But in this case, uh, the 50 millimeter will not do the job at all because I don't need any depth of fuel but uh, therefore uh, I'll be using the, the 18 uh, 135 you know to be able to actually uh, capture this Now that I've got some great shoot of this bridge, uh, the idea of today was not only uh, just to show you how uh, the process of this shooting gonna be, but was also to take you through the whole process from the shooting to the post-production. Follow me to my computer, let's select the best picture and edit them together. Welcome to my desk. Um, I've got all the pictures and video, um, you know, loaded on my computer right now. And I'm going to be recording my screen in order for you to see uh, the process of uh, editing uh, the picture that we've been out for today. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. So it's going to be very quick. start by selecting the picture that I'll be working on uh, the first one is this uh, following by this that's I don't know what you think 
uh, moving forward oh, this is a great shot uh, let's see if you've got something better I use Photoshop in this case so let me open it with Photoshop Eventually, this is a picture that I think I can produce at this time, you know, to show you uh, the St. Pierre Bridge from my angle of view. You can get this picture from my Instagram page and, you know, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Photography Talk and make sure you follow me on YouTube, Facebook. And until then, take care of yourself and your loved one and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.